Our tile control was created during the release of Windows 8 and has since evolved to become a versatile control that can be used throughout your application. For example, it can be used in our navbar control to help with navigation. It's also used as views for our document manager and data grid. Most of the features covered in this video will work the same for tiles used within other DX controls. I'll start with a blank WinForms application that I created with our setup wizard. You can add the tile control by either dragging it from the toolbox or you can use the layout assistant. I'll use the layout assistant and create an office style ribbon up top with the tile control fitting the rest of the form. Right click on the project and choose DevExpress project settings. This opens a dialog that allows you to apply global project settings like DPI factor and default fonts. I'll use the skin option and choose Bezier. All tiles are hosted within tile groups. I'll add two groups by using the tile control smart tag. Then I'll name each group by selecting it and filling in its text property. You can name each group as well as the tile control as a whole. To show these titles on the form, you'll need to enable the show group text and show text properties. Okay, now let's add some tiles. Select the group and click on its smart tag. There are four different size tiles you can add, large, medium, small, and wide. I'll add a large and small tile to the main group and a medium and wide tile to group number two. You can change the size of the tiles by clicking their smart tag and selecting it from the available drop-down menu. Let's run this and take a look at the tile's initial behavior. And users can drag and drop tiles between groups or make new groups by dragging tiles into space between the groups. You can prevent this action by disabling the Allow Drag and Allow Drag Tiles Between Groups properties. Before we go into design, it's important to note that each tile can be static or live. Static tiles remain the same while live tiles animate through different tile frames. You can design each tile any way you wish, but we do offer a set of templates that help you get started. Click the Tile Smart tag and choose Select Tile Item Template. You'll see a number of different styles available for different sizes. I'll select this one here with a header, description, and image. Now I can make adjustments by choosing Edit Tile Item Elements. Here's the collection editor. On the left, you'll notice the three element items to choose. I'll select the header and change its text to Tile Control. Then I'll change the description. And finally, I'll add an image and adjust its image size. Next, I'll add another element and demonstrate some more properties. First, I'll change its text using the text property. Under the Normal Appearance property, I'll add a background color. Then switch the color of the text to black. You can increase the height of the background by adjusting it here in the Appearance section. I'll also adjust the Stretch Horizontal property to True so that the background fills the entire width of the frame. You can also adjust its position by anchoring it to another element and adjusting its Anchor Indent and Anchor Offset properties. Now let's look at how to create a live tile with animations. A frame is a tile snapshot with the unique content. Every frame has its own elements collection, so you build the content of every frame separately in the same way you do it with regular static tiles. I'll select the second tile in group two and click Edit Animation Frames from the Smart Tag. 
Then choose the Elements ellipsis. I'll add an image and center it using the Image Alignment property. Then remove the text from the first frame. For the second frame, I'll change the text, align it, and then change the font and size. If I run the application now, you'll see we have our two newly designed tiles in Group 2. The first one is static, and the second one animates through the two frames we created. You can change the animation timing by adjusting it here in the Frame Animation Interval property. You can also adjust animations from the Frame Editor as well. I'll adjust the interval between our logo and slogan and change the animation type to a random dissolve. And you can see the difference here when I run the application. Finally, I'll adjust the item check mode to multiple. This allows the tiles to accept a checked state. Depending on the desired tile behavior, you can handle the item click, item double click, item right click, check changed events to respond to end users' actions. For example, I'll handle the checked changed event to display a confirmation message each time a user checks or unchecks a tile. And when I run the application, you can see the message box appear every time a tile is checked. And that's it for this video. If you'd like to learn more about our WinForms controls, you can watch more videos from our playlist or check out the documentation on our website. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for all of our latest content. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.